Okay, let's take a moment. I want to share something with you that I had been introduced to some time back. And well, it was in one ear and out the other. I didn't immediately see the value. Most of the time, the challenge that many of us have when we're doing videos, especially shorts, most of the time, those shorts or those videos need to be subtitled. The question becomes, well, how do you do it? So there's several ways. One gentleman said to me, well, YouTube will automatically do that for you, won't it? And the answer is, yeah, within reason, but You've got to turn on the subtitles and you're certainly not in control of how effective they are. Or you could do like me and sit down once you've created the video and literally listen to what you said or copy and paste script into the video so that the subtitles are burned in. But I was visiting an NSA speaker in Orlando, a gentleman by the name of Gary O'Sullivan, and Gary and I go way back, and he started to talk to me about how he was using subtitles in Guatemalan Spanish for a client of his. And I was like, how are you doing that? And he introduced me to this website. Now, let me stop for a second. The purpose of this video is not to talk about the Guatemalan Spanish but is to talk about the easiest, simplest way I have found to do subtitles in your videos, especially your shorts. So I want you to watch with me as we go through the process, because what I'm getting ready to show you is like mind blowing cool. And we're tapping just the bare edge of what this particular AI program is capable of doing. So I'm going to step away from here and let you watch the screen as I talk you through this simple process. I wanted to be able to add subtitles, especially if you're doing shorts, whether it's for uh, YouTube or whether it's for Facebook or whether TikTok, whatever. But in many cases, people want to see the words because they're not actually listening to what's being said. So we're in VDIO. We're going to come up here. We're going to create a project. So let's click the create a project window. And in that window, I want to upload a file. So I'm going to go in, let me just see, let me find something. Um, we'll call it why people have ethical lapses. Okay. So I have now asked it to upload this information, why people have ethical lapses. Now, in my case, for what we're doing here today, I want to add subtitles. So we're going to go to add a subtitle. Okay, we're going to create the subtitles in English. By the way, as a side note, while the subtitles are being created, you can create subtitles in any language. So if by chance you were doing something that needed to be subtitled into Spanish, Mexican Spanish, Puerto Rican Spanish, Cuban Spanish, Guatemalan Spanish, you can do that. It's amazing. Okay, but at this point in time, we've now done this. So let's see, I want to pick the look of the subtitle. So I'm going to go with this subtitle because I personally like to see sentences as opposed to individual words. And I'm going to come over here to customize it. And I think I want to use a very thick type of, of uh, font so that it really shows up. And in my case, I'm going to go to 72 point. I want to see what that looks like. Now, its text color is white. That's the color I've chosen. So let's take a look and see what it's done. But he illustrated to them that when something happens that triggers you, you are not emotionally in control of your autonomic response system. And that's typically what gets us in trouble. Now notice, we just uploaded the video. It is instantly not only transcribing what I am saying, but it's putting it into the right place. So I'm like, okay, great. I am happy with this. So I want to go to export. I want to export the video, but instead of quality of standard, I want to go with high definition. Okay. And this is going to burn the subtitles into the video. That means the subtitles will always automatically be there. I don't have to rethink that. Okay. So we'll go to export the video. I'm going to click export and we'll watch VDIO do its thing. 
So at this point in time, it is literally going through the process, taking the video with the original audio, burning the subtitles into it. And when this is complete, we will have a completed video. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like. But he illustrated to them that when something happens that triggers you, you are not emotionally in control of your autonomic response system. And that's typically what gets us in trouble whenever we make unethical choices. Okay, so I'm satisfied at this point in time. So what am I going to do? I want to download this and I want to download it as an MP4. So it is literally at this moment downloaded into my downloads. And ladies and gentlemen, we just finished. Okay, you've seen it, you understand it, you know about it. Now the question becomes, are you willing to use the tools that are available in artificial intelligence to make your videos better? In fact, I'm gonna offer one last suggestion to those of us that are speakers, and that is, I would consider having two versions of my presentation or my video available, one without subtitles, but offer to the meeting professional one with subtitles because that acknowledges you are on the cutting edge and especially open to being able to make this available for those folks that might be hearing impaired or who want to see the video without listening to the audio. Hey, I hope this helped. Subscribe to the channel. You'll be getting more of these. And thanks to Gary O'Sullivan for reminding me I really needed to be paying attention to this.